Ince gets past Max Aarons, and this game already flowing end to end because here come Reading for the first time. Hoylet up towards the edge of the Norwich penalty oh. area. He keeps going and he's brought down by Grant Hanley right on the edge of the penalty area. Uh, that was only a yard or two, if that, from being a penalty. Everybody back for Norwich City. Ince is going to take this free kick. His dad, of course, is the Reading manager. Tom Ince with the left foot from in the D. Takes the free kick and Gunn pushes it up and over the top. Well, we certainly saw Tom Ince's dad score against Angus Gunn's dad a few times, but uh, Angus Gunn won that one and it is a, a save and it's a Reading corner. Sarah through the middle for Norwich City and he's thudding it through to Puki and Puki's goal side of the Reading defence he tries to play it across for Ida but uh, Reading have recovered and it's Yeardham the captain who sticks it behind for a corner but um, we thought this might be an open game four minutes in Puki with a, a lovely slide rule pass from Sarah Puki was in behind the Reading defence to the right of goal tried to send it across to Ida and there was a timely clearance uh, to put it behind Corner played in by Sarah, flicked on by Ida towards the edge of the six-yard box, not really dealt with by Reading. Sargent chases it out towards the left-hand side to keep the attack going. Aarons is there for Norwich City now, has Sargent with him. It's played to McCallum, who's got some room on the left-hand side. He curls the ball into the penalty, great delivery! Oh, and nobody can quite get on the end of it, it spins up in the air. Goalkeeper uh, punches it away there, Joe Lumley. Here's Andy Carroll, chesting down a high ball for Reading. It's going to be a, a danger all night, I think, as the ball is played towards Hoylett on the right-hand side for Reading. He's going to swing the ball in towards the far post. It's not a bad cross, it's been headed down by Carroll. McLean oh. goes for it, makes the challenge, and has he caught the Reading player there? Well, the free kick's actually gone the other way. Lucas Schell and McLean both going for the ball, and it was a case for referee David Webb as to who got there first, because they've both gone down injured, and there aren't any complaints from Reading, so we can, we'll gather from that that the referee's got it right. Oh, nice played up by Hanley to Ida. Ida brilliantly rolls into the path of Puki, who's through, but runs straight into the goalkeeper. Sergeant for the rebound! Oh. Didn't get enough on it, and it's blocked on the line. Ida has a go! Oh. The ball loops over the top and behind, and Norwich did not make the most of what was a great position there. <laughs> all, all three of their strikers, Puki, Sergeant, and Ida, had a pop at goal there, but none of them could quite make the telling contribution. Ince tries to return it, but gets it all wrong, it's blocked. Uh, and now Norwich can move it up the field. Now, if Nunez can use the ball well here, he's got men over on the right-hand side. One of those is Adam Eder, who's got pace and he's attacking. Aarons is in front of him. Eder plays it to Aarons now. Norwich have turned uh, defence into attack quickly. Aarons cross, dug out by Ince, but it's full of Eder. His shot blocked. Uh, back out to the right it goes. Aarons, another cross into the box. Nunez can't quite get there. Certainly, uh, the instructions seem to be for Norwich City to get more crosses into the box. to McLean. Now they've got Nunez in a bit of room here, halfway inside the Reading half. Forward he comes, hits a shot from a long way out, which the goalkeeper gets down and makes a comfortable save, but you never know with those, do you? I mean, I'm sure there are other forward players who would rather that have been a pass, but you hit a shot from there, the goalkeeper Easy. spills it, you get a chance. Hoylet is standing over the ball as well, as Ince. Well, let's see. Free kick coming up, taken, and oh. goes wide. It was Hoylet in the end who took it, <laughs> and a goal kick given. Angus Gunn threw himself to his left, which suggested that that was a, a near thing, but um, it went wide, so you'd say he probably had it covered. I haven't seen much of Norwich as an attacking force in the second half yet. A little header from McLean. Collected by Sarah on the left-hand side. This could be a chance for Norwich. Ida works some room and fires the pass towards the right-hand side. Encouragement from the Carrow Road crowd as Aarons attacks, crosses early into the penalty area. It's headed up in the air by a defender. Sergeant looking to get to it, nods it across. Puki jumps and makes a nuisance of himself. It's back to Puki. Oh. Ida shot! Oh, it's a lovely, lovely goal! The breakthrough in front of the Barclay! Adam Ida slides on his knees and goes to celebrate with the supporters. Alan Russell.
Iceland, Steve Weaver picked three strikers. They were all involved in that move. They all made their presence felt in the penalty area. It was Adam Eder who swung the ball in, swept it beyond Joe Lumley, and there's the breakthrough. Norwich City 1, Reading 0. decision because Norwich won a red card but the, he's a long way from goal there Pookie isn't it Ince will take from the right hand side for Reading swung into the penalty area towards the edge of the six yard box Lucas Shaw with a header it's blocked on the line I think Gunn got there Aarons was alongside him they've cleared it but for how long here comes Ince tries to cross it they play back outside the penalty area now for the opportunity here come into the box from Hoylett towards the far post Sarah's there has it covered has to head it behind it's a Reading corner that was a good save from Gunn <laughs> Nunez threads the ball through towards Sargent Sargent's in the Reading penalty area awkward oh. save low shot from Sargent took it on quite early and the goalkeeper Lumley was down smartly and it was one of those that can easily go under the goalkeeper and he managed to smother it. That was a good save from Joe Lumber. Here's Hendrick, because you can invite pressure on if you sit too deep. Here's Guinness Walker, one of the Reading substitutes. Left-hand side, taking on Aarons, getting past Aarons, getting into the penalty area. Dow makes the challenge. Referee's given a penalty oh, to wow. Reading. Dow feels hard done by but I think he did just catch Guinness Walker there, didn't he? Guinness Walker getting round to Aarons. Dow was back trying to help out defensively, and Walker went tumbling, and Reading have been given a golden opportunity to find an equaliser. But now it's a penalty, which Carroll will take! Oh, the gun goes the right way, but he scores. Carroll punches the air in delight, and Reading a level with eight set minutes to go. Dow penalised for the foul on Guinness Walker. Carroll tucks the penalty away, and it is all square at Carroll Road. Norwich one, Reading one. And that goes to 82 